Hi everyone, this is Josh. I'm an AI engineer at Google. If you are in the data game, you have probably heard all the hype about data science and machine learning engineering or AI engineering. But what exactly is the difference between them and which one is the right path for you according to your skill set and which one should you choose? Let's find out. Before we go any further, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really goes a long way. Let's talk about data scientists. Think of data scientists as detectives of the data world. They are responsible for finding stories within messy data using statistics by building models to solve a particular business problem. Let's take a simple example of recommending hotels to users. This is going to be a very simple explanation by the way. In order to recommend hotels to users, you definitely need two minimum things hotels and users. So let's assume that we have this data set where we have all the hotels, let's say around 300,000 hotels and 10 million users. All the hotels are stored in different columns and all the users are stored in rows. Each cell contains the score that a user has given if they have visited that hotel. For example, if they have given five, they love the hotel. If they have given one, they hate the hotel. Now the problem with this type of data structure is that we have too many features. In short, we have too many columns. Imagine having to deal with 300,000 different columns. So to avoid this, we'll do some feature engineering. Maybe we can create some embeddings. Creating embeddings is basically reducing dimensions of your feature data set. In this case, we might want to categorize our hotels into maybe beach hotels, mountain hotels, city center hotels. But the problem with having only three different types of hotels is that we have aggregated too much. We might want to create some additional dimensions like is it a business hotel or is it a resort? Is it a five star? Is it a one star? Is it a four star? And so on. Once we have all these hotel embeddings created, we can also take some user data, for example, user age, user income, user locality, which is kind of crucial to understand before recommending hotels to the users. Once we have all these features from different visualizations, we'll find out which feature is more, most important and we'll have a metric like this. After selecting the most important features and doing feature engineering, we'll do model building. So for example, we might want to use matrix vectorization or even a neural network. Whatever model that we choose, we'll then have to choose different hyperparameters like learning rate or epochs. And then we'll train that model. We will do some cross validation. We'll try different set of hyperparameters and inference parameters. And then finally, when the model is ready, we will push that on an endpoint. So all these things that we just did pretty much falls under the role of a data scientist. The key skills required here are Python, analytics, visualization, statistics, and machine learning model building. Now let's compare this story with a machine learning engineer. Machine learning engineers are the ones who make the magic happen. They take the models that data scientists have created and finally attach it with real world applications and make sure that it scales well. Let's take a different example this time. Let's take an example of an LLM based application because they are so hot nowadays, right? Let's assume that you want to create a chatbot specifically trained on healthcare domain that looks at patient files and summarizes the patient information into several different categories. So for this, you will first of all need a foundational LLM model trained and created by data scientists or research scientists. Once we have this model available, we will specifically train this model on healthcare domain. This is called domain based pre training. After that, we might want to give models some example prompts and some example outputs. This is called supervised fine tuning. We might have some different candidate models to work from and depending on the best accuracy, we will choose the best model and deploy it on an endpoint. But the work does not end here. You have to keep monitoring the model that you deployed and look at its uh, performance over time. Also look at the data skew and accordingly, whatever results we get, we have to push it back into the feedback and again, improve the model over time. Machine learning engineers are also responsible for looking out for latency or scalability. For example, they might want to serve millions of users per day and they might want to keep the latency under 200 milliseconds. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bad? So that's kind of a role of a machine learning engineer. Key skills required here are obviously coding superpower, understanding of ML models, and robust understanding of building a good low latency infrastructure as well as MLOps. 
So think of data scientists like architects who design the house and machine learning engineers like construction crews who build the house from scratch and then make sure that it is safe for people to live in. As we already discussed, these are some of the differences between a data scientist and a machine learning engineer. Their focus area, tools and day-to-day -day work. They also deal with different kind of frustrations or problems. For example, a data scientist's frustration might be something if the data tells you exactly opposite of what you thought it would tell. And uh, a machine learning engineer's frustration would be if a model works really well in development but does not work at all or maybe explodes in production. I found this really cool diagram on a site called datacaptains.com. I'm going to mention the source in the description below. So this highlights the difference between all different data profiles that we have. Highlighted in blue are the data scientists where they have to be really proficient in stats and machine learning modeling, inference, experimentation, metrics and reporting, which is very close to data analysts who are also very good at metrics and reporting, a little bit of experimentation experience and also good at business insights. Comparing that with ML engineers, they are more uh, proficient in ML ops, model deployment, stats and machine learning modeling, and also a little bit of data pipeline. So if you're a data analyst who loves uncovering hidden patterns and insights within data, data science might be your jam. But if you're a data engineer who focuses on building systems and applications, and is obsessed about performance optimization, machine learning engineering might be a better fit. And real world needs both data scientists and machine learning engineers. And if you don't have any experience with either of them, my advice is maybe do a small project in both of them and see what rocks your boat. But one thing that we have to keep in mind is that these fields are super fluid and they have also a lot of overlap depending on the team that you work in. If you work in a smaller team, it's possible that a lot of your responsibilities might coexist with a data scientist, even though if you are a machine learning or AI engineer. Ultimately, it's about finding the thing that excites you the most. Also, do tell me which way are you leaning? Is it data science or machine learning engineering? And that's it from my side. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want something to discuss or if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. See you next time.